The journey of a canvas, I guess for me, is a message from nature that I feel compelled to bring to the public. It's been a self-discovery to see what I do like to express on canvas. I like to just magnify the message that nature's bringing, which to me is versatility, resilience. I've always noticed a lot of, you know, the little common things along the way, the small, humble things. In that process, I love to use texture. So I've, I've always exploring. Then as you go through, you know, you're adding knowledge. And for me, it's, it's knowledge about different products and what I can add together. You know, it's constantly suppressing the fear of, of making a mistake or it's not gonna turn out. It's just working beyond that and finding out those secrets of when to stop and when to keep going. I think th your subject calls for the right medium and the right surface. Sometimes I'm working with a lot of different gels and different organic materials and using wax or <laughs> using graphite, gold leaf, whatever. It depends on the subject matter. I've used different kitchen tools, like graters or strainers, sieves that have different texture. If it's water, then I'm gonna be more free with, with watery products. I, I do let things drip and run a lot, even if I'm doing sky or whatever. I like to see a lot of movement. I really enjoy pouring things on. To, it's not really a tool, but uh, pouring things on and blowing things around. <laughs> I, I get a lot of interest from that. So I have quite a wide variety of, of interest in my life, so I find that that's probably why I use mixed media. Once I've got to the place of deciding what products, I've already established and worked out those problems. So I've already worked out the composition is already good. I, I like my contrast, I like my negative space. And that's how I decide when and what products to use. Probably the biggest challenge is to make sure that it works. Not just put it on because you like the feather or because you like the texture of something. That you're not just putting it in to put it in. Or that you've fallen short on one, on maybe your composition or falling short on your drawing. And so you're trying to compensate by throwing in a bunch of texture or something. There's some times when things need to be smooth and you know you need to just have that soothing effect. In all the glamour that we have around us, it's hard to find the lessons in simplicity. If I don't experiment, then I'm not I'm not going to explore, I'm not going to find out things, I'm not going to discover things that I can use. If you are really in tune with the subject that you're painting, the mediums that you're going to use or that are going to come to mind are going to harmonize with that. It's like the icing on the cake. It's the fun part. The final uh, end of the journey for me in a painting is when somebody else sees it and loves it enough to buy it. That's the full cycle. <laughs>